Hey, this is going to be a short and snappy video. You know I don't BS when I'm telling you these things about print-on-demand, and I've recently been made aware of quite a big issue when it comes to Teespring. And because a lot of my videos I recommend Teespring and I speak very highly of Teespring, I felt it was the right thing to do to make this video so that you can kind of get the full picture. I don't want just to show you all the benefits and the amazing parts of Teespring, but not necessarily just Teespring, also print-on-demand. But I wanted to I wanted to address this big issue with you so that you can kind of see what's going on. Now, I feel like I'm a bit of an idiot that I wasn't really aware of this issue. And I think the main reason for that is I never actually bought anything on Teespring. I always use Teespring to sell, right? To make money. I never spent money on Teespring. And annoyingly, if I would have spent money on Teespring, I would have been made aware of this issue a long, long time ago. So before we get into that issue, let me just quickly say, my name is Shimmy Morris. If you are new here, and you probably are because 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So if you're new here and you like print on demand, Amazon FBA, making money online, you know, you like these kind of videos, then definitely do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach my next goal of 100,000 subscribers. And it's gonna be difficult but I really, really wanna get there. And with your help, I'll be able to do that. So hit that subscribe button and let's just get cracking on with the video. The issue I'm referring to is Teespring's shipping costs. This is something we have got to discuss. And here on the left-hand side, or the right-hand side, I haven't decided yet, but here on the left-hand side, there will be a picture of the shipping costs that they currently have. Now, firstly, we have to consider something. We have to realize that obviously with COVID-19 going on, they have increased their shipping costs. So the numbers you see there aren't their actual shipping costs and I will share with you their actual shipping costs. However, right, there are still two things that I am extremely, extremely unhappy about and a part of me don't, doesn't wanna use Teespring because I'm this unhappy about it. So let me tell you these two things. The first thing is why on earth does shipping have to get more expensive during COVID-19? Like, I think it's incredibly sneaky of Teespring to do that to the customer and to do that to their community of sellers, right? Now look, if they were going to increase the production time or maybe the production cost for the t-shirts, that those two things are, are a bit more understandable, right? I can understand that, especially if they increase the production time because they may have less people working. However, for them to increase the shipping costs seems ludicrous. And the reason why I, I'm so against this is because I have sent many items out during this time, right? During COVID-19, I have, I've had to send things out with, you know, Parcel Monkey or been to the post office with Royal Mail, wherever, where, whatever it was. And there has been absolutely zero increase in cost to me. So why would I then go and charge the customer more money? I think it's just a bit of a underhanded way to try and make a bit of extra money from the customer or in this case from the seller as well, because we get affected directly from this. Even before COVID-19, and this is the second reason, even before COVID-19, the prices were absolutely ludicrous. And adding another item to your basket doubled the shipping cost, which makes zero sense whatsoever because when you start bundling items together, the shipping should be a bit cheaper. Have a look at this quick screen flow. You'll see me adding things to the cart, right? Just two random things from the marketplace, not from the same seller. I added them to my cart and you'll see how having one item affects the shipping cost and now how having two items affects the shipping cost. And you can see why it's just absolutely ludicrous. And I wanna to talk to you a bit about this. And I just wanna to talk to you a bit about the shipping in general when it comes to print on demand, because I've been doing a bit of research into you know other companies like Redbubble and Printful, finding out how much they charge. And I'm not happy. I'm really, really not happy. Some of you may be thinking, and that is, ah, who cares? You know, the shipping cost is a bit more expensive for the customer. It's not the biggest deal. Like it doesn't really affect me. Don't think like that because you have to you have to put yourself, and, and this is what I did, you have to put yourself in the mind of your customer, okay? Imagine yourself as your customer going through your, you know, your sales funnel, finding your product, going to the sales page, adding it to the cart, and then putting your details in, right? If it was me, and this, this is when it hit me, right? If it was me, and I've done this before, going through putting an item in the basket to see that the shipping cost is, you know, three, four, five pounds or dollars, 
It's completely put me off and I've exited that page faster than it's really, really put me off, right? And I'm sure if you think of, like back from when you went to go and buy something that had a large shipping cost, it probably put you off as well. And and the reason why this is such a big deal is because the shipping cost is almost as much as the t-shirt, right? Who spends five, six pounds on shipping? That's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And the reason why it massively affects you is because your customers are thinking the same thing. So you might have an incredible ad, you might have an incredible t-shirt, you might have incredible everything, but as soon as it gets to the shipping and they see how much it costs, they exit out. And that's nothing you've done wrong. And the reason why this is so massively annoying is because you spend money on an ad, thinking the t-shirt doesn't work, it's not successful, so you try another t-shirt. But actually, the truth is, the t-shirt could have been successful, it may have been absolutely amazing. The thing stopping the customer is the shipping cost. And that really, really annoyed me because of the amount of money I've spent on you know, advertising Teespring t-shirts and just print on demand in general to find out that a lot of the time, my t-shirts were probably really, really good. It's just the customer doesn't wanna fork out an extra five or six pounds or dollars to get the item and, and I don't blame them. Like I wouldn't do it either, it's not worth it. So what can we do about this? Well, firstly, we can find a company that doesn't charge ridiculous amounts of shipping, right? The cheapest so far that I found is Printful. I'm not including Amazon Merch in this because you have to be accepted into Amazon Merch and that's difficult on its own. But I'm, I'm, I'm seeing Printful as being, from what the research I've done, is being the cheapest. Now, it's still expensive, by far, like by no means is it cheap, but it's better than Teespring. And I think the best, best way eventually is if you have a successful design that you have tested and is doing well, for you to go to a company like Monster Press, right? And I've got no affiliation with Monster Press. There's not even gonna be an affiliate link for Monster Press, but to go to a company like Monster Press and have your t-shirt mass printed right, and have it sent to you, right, because if you've seen proven results from a t-shirt with incredible shipping costs, right, you can go and have the t-shirt mass printed, sent to you, maybe like a thousand items, and then you can sell it, and with that, you can offer shipping for one, one dollar, two dollars, right, nothing more than that, maybe even free shipping, and it will save you a lot more money, and not only that, but the cost of the shirt will be a couple of pounds, or a couple of dollars, no more than three or four dollars, and your profit margins will be drastically higher, like so much higher. The only scary thing with that is ordering a massive bulk amount of t-shirts, not knowing how many are gonna sell. That's why I say only do this on tested, proven t-shirts. Now, what are some solutions besides go, you know, going and finding a different company? Well, one solution is, let's say you wanna continue using Teespring, one solution would be to offer free shipping. So you can go to the promotions tab, you know, and, and create a free shipping coupon and then have that in the description. Now the issue with this is it's going to massively affect your margins if you offer free shipping, because from what I've experienced, it comes off of your uh, end cut. So the way to counteract these margin errors are doing free marketing, right? So if you've got a t-shirt and you wanna offer free shipping, it's gonna be very hard to offer free shipping and also do Facebook advertising and spend a lot of money because you've got a very, very small margin at this point. And this is one of the reasons why I slowly stopped print on demand way back when, right? So what I would recommend is if you are gonna offer free shipping, you should try and do the long route and build up some form of Instagram page, or Facebook page, or whatever, with free methods and then get sales that way. And that way, yes, you've bitten into your profit a bit with the free shipping, but you've got larger margins because you're not paying for advertising, right? And I actually have a video idea that I wanna try and do of setting up a store, setting up an Instagram account and doing the long way. Maybe the video will take a month, who knows? And then, you know, a journey video. That is an idea that I have that I'm currently deciding whether or not I want to do, right? What's the verdict here? Firstly, I wanna just say I'm very, very shocked. This, like, I, I just, moving forward, I, I'm gonna have to, calculate this into my plan and um, if I do ever sell t-shirts on Teespring I will always offer free shipping and just bite the bullet uh, you know with my own margins because I just don't feel it's right to charge this ridiculous ridiculous rates of shipping so that's that but you know to be honest these companies all of them are taking the absolute piss when it comes to you know these marketing when it comes to these shipping costs and it's kind of it's kind of you know made me realize we need alternatives 
for like for example the alternative is ordering the t-shirt in bulk and selling it yourself right we need alternatives to do this if you feel the same let me know in the comments down below if you have any other solutions besides offering free shipping and you know lowering your margins let me know in the comments down below and if you're just thinking at this point ah oh, no what do i do now then if, if i can't do print on demand because of the shipping let me know in the comments because as i always say Print on demand is not the only business for you to do. There are so many different things you can do online and I'm here to help you figure that out. So thank you for watching and I will see you on Sunday for Sunday's video because I bring out a video Sunday, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Thanks for watching.